Okay, so we have another project. It's for a client today. We are going to work on updating this and restoring it a little bit. It has um, on the ground, you can see here, a part that's not attached. And then there's some drawers that need a little bit of sanding to go in a little bit nicer. Um, but for the most part, we'll be sanding some of the surfaces and then painting some of the surfaces. We have a lot of sanding to do today for other projects as well, sitting over here. So we're gonna try to knock that out of the way so that I don't get stuck waiting on a project. I don't know if other people run into this problem, but like if you start painting or putting a top coat, you can't sand for like a day because everything has to dry. The sand, or the sand, the sanding causes all the dust to like stick to that stuff. So you don't wanna do that. But yeah, we're gonna knock out all the sanding today. The worst part. So here's a video of the before. Just a quick little peek of everything before we start sanding. Okay, so I need to still sand around the edges for this top part, but I'm going to do all the flat surfaces first. So I'm going to go and take these handles off so that I can sand off this surface. Same with those drawers down there. And then pretty much everything else will be painted black. I think the feet I actually will sand down um, and sand as well, but everything like the main base will be painted black. Okay, so it's kind of late and I'm sweaty and gross, but I'm out in the shop and I'm staining parts of this project. Uh, so I, I did that on live. I still have a little bit left to stain, so I'll take some video for this video um, for you guys to see the staining process. I do have one piece that I had to fill in some holes. That piece will be painted eventually after it's sanded once that dries. So next up, we're gonna stain. And then probably tomorrow, most likely, we will be painting. I went and got the paint. It is the color Tricorn Black from Sherwin-Williams. Super popular, trending color right now. But um, yeah, so that's what we are doing. It is about to have a really cool sunset. If I get time, I'll film that for you too. But anyways, let's get back to staining. So these are still drying, but here are the two doors on the bottom. Here are the two little drawers that are inside the desk. That is still, the mud is still drying. And then we're gonna go over here to the base and we have stained the top. Obviously it's drying and the drawer 
which is also drying. And then tomorrow we will paint.
Okay, so the freaking sun is super bright. Holy buckets. Um, I am working on this piece. I have most of the painting done. I do have some detailed paint that needs to go up here. And then touch-ups will be done tomorrow. Another layer of top coat on this. I already did the second layer on the two doors. And over there you can see the shelf or the drawer. Um, so this is coming along pretty well, pretty fast. This should be done hopefully tomorrow. Like I hope I get everything put together and completed and I can show you guys the finished product. I can tell the client they can come pick it up. Woo, and we can move on to the next one. Okay, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, it's the next morning and I'm doing touch-ups as well as putting another layer, top coat layer on all of the stained areas and then let it dry and it should be done. That way I can show you guys the end product today, which will be great. I'm super excited to put the doors back on and the drawers then and see what it looks like. Okay, so I put the doors and the hardware back on. I need to wipe it down a little bit and then also put a top coat on the whole entire thing still. But you're kind of getting the idea of what it looks like. Here's the top. Drawer, desk, cabinets. Go from this angle. 